Every great Starfleet needs its captain, and every great series needs its showrunner. Aaron Harberts has been tapped to replace Star Trek veteran Brian Fuller as executive producer for CBS's all-access Star Trek Discovery. Harberts, who has worked with Fuller before, says that his DNA will certainly live on in the upcoming series, but with some new twists and turns. I got the very awesome chance to sit down with Harberts to discuss his role and what sort of themes are going to be explored in the new series. What drew me to the project was uh, Brian Fuller calling uh, me and uh, my writing partner Gretchen Berg and saying, I want to do a character heavy version of Star Trek. Are you interested? And we said, actually, that sounds like something we would love to try. Because? Well, wanted to do it because it was serialized streaming, mm -hmm. wanted to do it because we were really exploring uh, characters in a way that that they that they have done on Star Trek. I mean, it would be disingenuous to say that they haven't focused on character in any of those iterations of Trek. But the way that Brian was eager to really uh, dig underneath some of these people who've made catastrophic choices in their lives, right. find themselves with um, their plans upended, find themselves starting over. All of those stories and arcs were very interesting to us. What's really fascinating, I've spent the, the day talking to the cast and we've been talking a lot about the DNA of Star Trek and how that's gonna infuse Discovery. Primarily the diversity and mm -hmm. some of the themes you're exploring, but how will this be different? Well, this, you know, thematically, this show is not going to be too different from all of the others, from the standpoint that by the time you get to the end, now maybe not at the end of each episode, but the end of our season, right. you are going to feel the optimism and the hope. We are doing 15 chapters of a novel. You've got to start somewhere to end somewhere. So it's going to take a bit longer to get there, and there will be ups and downs for all of the characters. There will be revelations and shocking moments. I think it's I think it's it's just like life, you yeah. know? And I think that that's that's one of the thing that things that's gonna be different. I think that the show wants to be consumed um, one through fifteen. You know, watch them in order. Yeah. Don't watch them out of order because the the way it's designed is little tiny things that begin in one just start to blossom as you go through. You know, a lot of the earlier tracks were designed to be standalone, standalone yeah. and were sort of designed almost for syndication. Right. You, know, you could watch them at any time, and there's something to be said for that kind of storytelling. I mean, it's its own way of telling a story, and it works really, really well. But for us, the most exciting part was really getting to tell a long, uh, a long arc story. I mean, you guys know, if you watch CBS, and I'm a huge Star Trek nerd, Star Trek fan. I cannot wait for this series. It will begin on September 24th. It is one of the most iconic franchises in television history, Star Trek Discovery. Catch it on the 24th of September. Do not miss out on this journey.